Okay. If there are no questions, then we just uh, roll out the antithesis. Okay. So the first way, all right, to derive the antithesis <laughs> is to find uncircled factors. Okay. So like I said, interest rate is very powerful. It already affects internal demand and external demand. So I don't feel like saying uh, interest rate policy doesn't affect G. Okay, that's a very small point. Okay, it's already very powerful as it is. But I can still say interest rate policy does not affect other drivers of potential growth. Okay. It doesn't affect other drivers of potential growth like quality of labor, okay, etc. It's a fair limitation. I don't see any other circles except quantity of capital. You follow? Okay. Any other non circled factors? So I'm, I'm talking about these things, I think, not circled. Okay? Quality of labor, okay? There are other things. Like here. Hey, this thing. Hey, this thing can also become policy limitations. Okay, so I'm gonna say that the effectiveness of an interest rate cut. If I cut my interest rates, effectiveness in increasing C. Well, it depends on expectations, the state of expectations. Okay. Likewise, effectiveness of interest rate cuts in raising I also depends on expectations. We already see seven points from here. So the A3 exercise is about C. You don't need to memorize 10 points in notes, 12 points. If you can see seven points from this breakdown, okay, that's faster. Any questions? Okay. And uh, I'm gonna push out some additional limitations. Uh. <clears throat> First one, Okay. Additional limitations. So I'm talking about what you cannot see from here. Okay. What we can see is already a great deal, is about seven points. But there are some additional limitations. Okay, number one. It depends on the size of the multiplier. ADD and L is additional. If my multiplier is very small, interest rate cut, how it affects uh, national income, how it affects actual growth is still restricted. It's still a bit restrained. Okay? So size of the multiplier, that's one. Yes. Can you use Singapore as an example of small multiplier? Can just that in this case, uh, Singapore does not use an interest rate policy. So that will already close the first door. Uh, and we don't use an interest rate policy because the interest rate change will lead to hot money flows that causes our exchange rate to fluctuate widely. So if we don't use interest rate, it's less likely that we use this point for interest rate policy. But we can use this to criticize fiscal policy in Singapore's context. That's okay. Okay, good. Any more questions? Hmm? Can see all these things? Yes. I will introduce a new concept to you, okay? Economies could be nearing a place called a liquidity trap. Have you heard of liquidity trap? No, huh? Okay. Liquidity trap uh, means that interest rates are oh very close to 0%. See, we are talking about cutting interest rates. You can cut only until 0%, right? If you're near 0%, how do you cut anymore? You can't. That's the liquidity.